Hi, it's Katie, and welcome back to my corner of the world. I have a treat for you today. Actually, I have a treat for everybody, especially my family. I have a Trader Joe's haul of holiday stuff. Uh, so grab a cup of tea and come join me. Okay, so oh, I actually went to Trader Joe's just to get a couple of things that I needed. I had mainly some um, stuff for lunch that I'd like to have, have around um, when I'm not feeling like really making anything. They have some great frozen and things that I love to pop in. And, but I went in and they had, at least my local one, had all of the holiday stuff up. So, you know, I had to grab it all. Well, this one back here is actually Costco. It's meant for another video. But all of this, all of this, this to go through and show you. Oh, and a couple of advent calendars too. So, if you're new here, my name is Katie. A, and on my channel, I do a whole lot of unboxings, subscription boxes, reviews, hauls. hauls. In November, I'm bringing you some budget-friendly advent calendars for the whole family, even the family pet. Um, in November and December, I am going to be doing a special small business Saturday where I am looking at Etsy shops and and showing you some of the products that small businesses have available for gift giving so if that sounds good to you oh please hit that subscription button down below turn on that bell notification and give me a big thumbs up all right let's get into this massive deliciousness of a haul okay start out with the jojos those they have the candy cane jojos those. My kids fell in love with the Halloween JoJo's. Hopefully they'll still like these with the, the kind of peppermint flavor. I think they will because they love like Girl Scout Thin Mints and stuff like that. So I think they'll be great. If you are gluten-free, they do have a gluten-free version of the peppermint JoJo's available. I also picked up the dark chocolate stars and they do have these in a dark chocolate mint also. Again, with that one, though, I figured it was way too close to oh, Girl Scout cookies A's in the Thin Mints, and Emily is a Girl Scout, so I have, like, a caseload of Thin Mints coming. Dang it. So I picked up the shortbread ones first. Plus, these were, like, my favorites when I was a kid. Not necessarily the Trader Joe ones, but this, this type of cookie. Hey, I ha saw these... Danish butter cookies. These were like $3.99 for this beautiful tin. Look at how pretty this is. is. And there's a picture of all the cookies that are on it. Now, yes, you can get Danish cookies and things and butter cookies at Costco, at any store, or, you know, oh, it's almost like the fruit cake of cookies. I actually like the butter cookies though, so I did pick this one up. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, beverage. They have the winter sangria in the sparkling water. Emily and I love sparkling water, so oh, I'm excited to try this. In fact, now I don't have a cup up here. I was gonna say I would pop it open right now and let you know how it was. Ooh, this is kind of a treat for me. These are a dark chocolate collection of truffles, and I'm gonna have to hide these from Emily. Hey, maybe I'll, well, you know what? I usually, I like the Saturday after Thanksgiving or something, my mom and I get together and go shopping. And Macy's usually has all of their, their Black Friday deals still on the Saturday after, and that was kind of our tradition. It's not gonna happen this year because of of the world. Oh, so maybe I'll tell my mom, I'm going to come up, I'm going to bring these and she and I are just going to have like a little like wrap session or something with presents. And 
and maybe have a glass of wine and just hang out with her, just her. All right, that was the one thing that I love about our tradition on that Saturday after Thanksgiving. It was just my mom and I. Hey, not that, you know, she loves the grandchildren. I love being around my children, but sometimes I just want to be with my mom by myself. Um, thought these were super cute. We did try the Halloween version of these, and they were pretty good. And I think especially for the kids, these are going to be really good. This, again, was like $3.99. Say most of the things I got were like $2.99, $3.99, so really good prices. Um, this guy was $9.99. Never, oops, this guy a was $9.99. But again, that was kind of a special treat for me and probably my mom. Um, this has a, a mixture of dark milk and white chocolate. So oh, this would be good too for like when we're decorating the tree as a family here. There, it has, has stuff that all of us would like. So put that out with like a little hot chocolate on a tray. Okay, and and turn that into a nice little evening. Um, they had these dark chocolate uh, covered peppermint creams. These also sounded super yummy to me. I'm going to open these up. Let me see. Let's see if we can see how these look. Look how gorgeous those look. Ooh. And I am a big dark chocolate mint fan. They are kind of a little jumbled up. So if you are going to get this and give it to somebody hey, or take it into work, you might want to, you know, make sure everything's in the right place. I have everything. It's just a few of them are kind of shifted around. Um, I also took like a speed bump a little too fast. There's one road where there's, where, and I know there's a speed bump there, but especially in the early afternoon, it is covered in a shadow and you don't see it. And I just went boom right over it. I'm lucky nothing spilled in the car. Uh, have minty mallows. So, oh, these are, are peppermint marshmallows drenched in smooth dark chocolate. It, I feel like there's a theme here with peppermint and dark chocolate. And I didn't really mean it that way, but I know that at Emily and I, my mom, um, we are big dark chocolate fans. Stuff like this, not a white chocolate fan. I don't think it deserves to be called chocolate. It, but my husband is a white chocolate fan and Andrew loves milk chocolate. That's why I said this would be like perfect for my family to have. Um, a couple more things, things here. So I got this little baggie of the coins. This was like $1.29 and, and it's called Coins of the World. And they do have like all different kinds of, of little ones in there. They have bronze and they have gold, they have silver. All right. So, oh, I know this is more geared towards like Hanukkah and the guilt for Hanukkah, but at I do like to, especially on like the first day of Hanukkah or something, use these in my DIY a advent calendar for the kids. This is what they'll find like in the little door or is these chocolate coins. And the last thing of the chocolate and the desserts that I have, well, I shouldn't say the last chocolate. It is this little thing. It's called Trader Joe's chocolate passport all right and it has so it's supposed to look like a passport to me it almost looks though like books and this is chocolates from um around the world they have peru oh ecuador venezuela ghana the dominican republic papua new guinea santom and tanzania and it's from 60% cacao to, let me see what the highest one is, 73%. So on the darker side, but not super dark, this, like I said, I thought this looked almost like, like books. And books and travel, that like defines my sister. Emily is also oh, into books and is always interested in new countries. 
So for either one of them, this would be like a cute little thing either for like in a stocking or just like a, an addition to another or little present. And so, oh, but this would also be great a, for like a coworker, you know, loves travel or loves reading. Um, I think it would be, you could even and get it and pass it out amongst your coworkers. This was $7.99 maybe, and there's one, two, three, four, there's eight of these, so about a dollar per bar. So the other thing that would be cute, especially like if you're a boss or something and you're trying to give out Christmas gifts to your employees, these, you got eight people here, you put a little gift card to like Starbucks or something thing with this, or again, teacher gifts, you got eight teachers here, or, or give this with a Target gift card or an Amazon gift card, or, and you're covered. Okay, last two items that I picked up. Now there's a ton more there, a ton. And I couldn't pick up everything, and I'd be like broke. Oh, I know. Oh, and, and the one, the Advent calendar that I am doing with Andrew. Oh, for boys, I talk about how these 99 cent calendars have like cheap chocolate, talk, tastes like chalk. Um, but I don't think I've ever had one from Trader Joe's. So. They have several different versions. I just thought this one was funny because it was like the family a advent calendar. So I'm going to bust this open and see how they're... Let me see. Let me see if I can find the days. The days are difficult to find. They are very little here. There. I was about to say, day. like, I'm just going to bust open anything. Right here is day one. And so let me see if I can get that one open. And so... Oh, it's a little wreath. It is a tiny little thing. There we go. Oh, it looks better than some of the other ones. It's not bad. Is it the best chocolate I've ever had? No, not by far. It's a milk chocolate. Right? And it even says there it is 24 days of milk chocolate. It is definitely better than those like, like no brand names or something that you find in Michaels and Target and everything for 99 cents. It's definitely better chocolate than that. So if you are looking for just a plain chocolate calendar for your kids or someone and yourself, oh, this one's, this is your best bet. Okay. The last thing I have is a cat advent calendar. Now I know I did uh, the PetSmart one, and and but the PetSmart only had a toy one for cats. They did not have a treat one. And Trader Joe's has a treat calendar for cats and dogs. This is five ninety nine. So I only picked up the cat one. I did not pick up the dog one because I already did a dog treat calendar. And it's pretty much the same thing. It's just for dogs instead of cats and it's treats. So uh, let's see. It is uh, 20, ooh, 25 days. days. I don't know what day 25 is. I might have to open that for you because it's big. This is a uh, salmon and dried seaweed recipe cat treats. So let's see if I can find day one. Oh. I love that this one also has like the black cat, like our midnight, okay? and it has, well, it's more of an orange tabby, but we do have tabbies. Is, our Zooey is a brown tabby, and I have a special place in my heart for brown tabbies. My a first cat was a brown tabby. Ooh, these are difficult to get open. So this is how you open this one. Let's see if I can get in there. There. Oh, that's cute. So you, they actually... Hey, I don't know if the dog one is like this, but uh, in this one, I actually get three little treats. We'll have to see uh, how my kitty cats like it. Uh, uh, they are somewhat of, of 
cat treat snobs. Snobs meaning that they will only sometimes eat one cat treat. Um, but calling them cat treat snobs is like calling somebody a, who only drinks Coors Light a beer or snob. Um, um, by cats like Temptations. And, and that's the tabby especially, that's all he will eat. If I put something else down, he'll, he'll turn up his nose and walk away from me. So we'll see how he likes these. These, if they both reject these, then I have plenty of friends who have kitty cats that I will give this to, but uh, we shall see. All right, I do need to open day 25 just to see because it is so big. But this is also getting really long. Um, and I don't want it to be super long. But I do need to see what's day 25. I know that all of the other days are, are the same as day one. Ooh, they make this really hard to get into. Oh, it's just a bigger bag. Ooh, and big treats. So this one has like little stars and stuff in it. So I definitely think, I mean, considering the other, the uh, dog one at Petco was like one little treat like this. Um, and I think it was like $8 and something cents. Um, I believe the dog one at, at Trader Joe's was the same as the cat, $5.99. And, and you might get a little bit more too. So that's it. That is the holiday haul that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Those uh, if you've been to Trader Joe's before, you know these things will go fast. So I'm really glad I just decided to pop in today for uh, uh, a completely other reason. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.